Hey, you guys, and welcome to my hashtag a year a thon Stephen King slash horror TBR. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I did a TBR because I don't think I did a TBR for anything last month and of course this TBR is going to be maybe a little bit over the top and you probably already saw a sneak peek if you saw my Friday reads um, yesterday so here we go the group read for this month is the monster monologist by Rick Yancey and I'm really glad to finally be reading a book by Rick Yancey because I've heard good things about this series and mixed things about the fifth wave series but I'm really looking forward to it and I love this beautiful cover and they broke and I broke it up into three separate parts because it well, was already broken up into three parts so there's three different spoiler um threads over on goodreads and i'll link you down below the goodreads group so you guys can go ahead and check it out but there we go and then um another book and something else that was in my friday reads was the graveyard book i'm hoping to start this by today if you guys are watching this so i can probably get a little head start and you'll see why after the rest of the books so i also have him like grove by brian mccreevy and this is about vampires and werewolves and stuff like that i watched this show and i really enjoyed it so i picked up the book and i'm really hoping to read it and this seemed like the perfect time and then i got the girl from the well by ren chupico and this involves like ghosts uh doing revenge stuff on other people and stuff and it and it looks like a holiday read and it sounds like it's going to be really well and I haven't heard much about this and it's one of the books that I pre-ordered and I feel like I should read more of those like right away so I decided to go ahead and put that on there as well and then two books that were on my currently reading uh, that I feel like that I took off but because only because I want to start from the beginning and the first one is Arc Like by Jocelyn and McQueen and I feel like this has like a little kind of scariness into it because there's the dark place where all these monsters are coming and trying to kill people and stuff so that's always good so hoping to get to that and of course Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion more zombie novel I don't think it's more none of these books are necessarily scary but maybe they kind of fall into the horror thing and then we have The Hunting by Shirley Jackson. I absolutely loved We Have Always Lived in the Castle and I thought about rereading it but then I was like no. Um, the Haunting, which I like the movie. I love the movie, actually. And Geraldine says she wants to read it with me, so I'm going to put this towards the end of my list because she needs to read another book first. So hopefully by then I will have finished some of these books. And then, last but not least, I have The Hollow Ones and The Outside by Lauren Bickle. And actually, these are both signed by the author and stuff and everything personally to me because I wanted a giveaway and I have been dying to read these but I haven't yet and I feel so guilty because I meant to read them right away and tell her what I thought so I'm definitely looking forward to this this is about um, apparently something happens in the outside world outside the some kind of Armageddon and this takes place in an Amish community and they have like they're letting no outsiders in but this one girl she likes to let somebody in and thing, creepy things start happening so I'm really looking forward to this and those are all the books that are on my hashtag year thon TBR for this week upcoming week from the 6th to the 12th I believe so you guys let me know down below what you guys plan on reading for the hashtag year thon are you guys reading any of these books are you guys reading our group read for the month let me know down below and I will talk to you guys later bye